key to the effortless golf swing is establishing our relationship with the ground. In other words, creating good balance. As we go through the key, starting with balance today, I'd like to bring a student on board with us. And we decided to pick somebody who has never played golf before. We're figuring she'll probably make a few mistakes that the folks at home will be making. And while I correct Michelle, you can correct yourselves. So Michelle, would you come on screen for us here? Just to prove that Michelle is a beginner, I'm going to ask Michelle to make a couple swings for us now. Don't be shy. Just face the camera. Very nice. Thank you. You'll notice that Michelle did what most beginning golfers do, which is swing the club entirely with her arms and didn't really use the ground at all. So we're going to rebuild Michelle's swing as we go through the tape, and hopefully we'll help you too. Michelle, stay right here. Let's talk about balance. A lot of players will put all their weight on their heels. Michelle, would you lock your knees and put all your weight on the heels? Let's set up with your weight on the heels, and you notice if you have your weight on your heels, you have no balance. It's easy to push you off. So instead, I'm going to ask her to try and center her weight on the entire inside perimeters of her feet, almost as if she had fallen arches. One of the easiest ways to do that is to begin with a slight flex of the knees rather than having the knees locked. Get a little bounce in your knees. Don't tap your feet, but bounce your knees a little bit, okay, so you have life in your legs. Now, in order to keep the weight on the insides of the feet, I'm going to ask Michelle to pull her knees together, create an inward knee pressure, almost as if she had, say, a soccer ball between her knees. Say yay. We're going to take a soccer ball put it right there and feel the inward pressure almost in that magnetic attraction between the knees that's required to keep that ball in place. Now the USGA won't allow you to play like that but I, I want you to think like that when you stand up to the ball and you make this feeling reflexive. So to review briefly we have a magnetic attraction between the knees and a slight knee flex which puts the weight on the inside perimeters of both feet and favors the arch area. Okay? You feel solid now? How much more solid Michelle is now? Hopefully you're the same way at home. Now let's turn sideways and, and show what that looks like. Okay? We're checking her balance. See how solid she is from all directions? Now we're going to ask you to tilt slightly at the waist. Tilt the back slightly. We don't curve the spine. The spine stays straight. And there's a slight tilt just enough so your arms can dangle out in front of you. You have to have enough, rooms for your, enough room for your arms to swing at some point. Okay, the arms are very light and loose when we establish good balance. So what I'd like you to do now, and you Michelle too, is take a few minutes and get used to this feeling of lively legs with the weight focused on the inside perimeters of the feet and the arms hanging loosely in front of the body. Okay, check yourself in a mirror and see if you look like Michelle and myself.